Imagine a scenario in where you are apartment hunting. You look online and find that there are about a hundred apartments in your city that fit your budget. You'd like to see them before signing a lease. However, the demand for apartments is very strong, so if you decide to not sign the lease after viewing the apartment, there is no guarantee that it will be available later. In other words, you have to decide to sign the lease after viewing the apartment. If you do not take the lease, there's no going back. So how do you end up with the best chance of getting the best apartment? This is a prime example of the optimal stopping problem, and it is the first chapter presented in the book Algorithms to Live By. The secret to finding the best solution comes from the fact that by visiting an apartment, we gain information. We can use this information to create a baseline that we can use to make our decision. But how many apartments should we see before we start making a decision? Settle too early, and you could end up with regret that you could have gotten a better apartment. Choose too late, and you know that you could have gotten a better one if you had settled earlier. According to math, the optimal strategy is to look at the first 37% of all apartments before making a decision. In other words, gather data by looking at 37 of the 100 apartments at random without committing to a lease. Then, after viewing the 37th one, choose the next apartment that's better than any of the ones you've seen before. This strategy is guaranteed to get you the optimal apartment approximately 37% of the time. And even at the times you don't end up with the best, you get pretty darn close. This strategy is surprisingly robust, regardless of the number of apartments to look at. It turns out that the optimal strategy is to always observe the 37%, then make a choice. You can apply this to many other situations. Going back to the home theme, let's say that you were selling your house instead, and you were taking offers on a rolling basis. How should you choose an offer that's the best value for your home? Assuming that you receive the same number of offers per day, and your house is going to be on the market for a month, just spend the first 37% of the month, about 11 days, observing offers. Then, on the 12th day, take the first offer that's higher than any of the offers before. This strategy is also known as the look then leap rule, and it is the optimal strategy to know when to stop. Hey guys, this is a new video format for me, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below about these book summaries. I'm planning on releasing more videos about algorithms to live by. It's a great book and I would highly recommend reading it. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks!